Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dark Souls. I'm Zane, and we're gonna go kill two guys to get today. Actually, three if you want to count, you know, the bosses. Two separate people. Uh, I'm not dealing with any of these great the Silver Knights crap. Figure I'll just go brute force it right now because, oh, totally don't want to deal with them. Before taking on these guys, let's go over here because there's another Silver Knight that we gotta deal with. Also, you see there? It's kind of, there's a nice nifty summon sign for us. I hate, I do hate the Silver Knights so much just because of how more varied their attacks are from the black. We got the black eye orb resonating. What? Screw it. Let's summon Knight Solera for this. It is the most cop outiest thing I could have done. But, at the same time, the Royal Guard Knights are a pain in the ass. Someone say cop out? Maybe. But at the same time, if you got it, you might as well. Oh. Oh, okay. For some reason, I don't know. The black eye orb decided to uh, resonate and then not. Let's use the separation crystal one more time. If I can find it. Yes, yeah, so it's accessible now. Alrighty. Let's go invade the world of the killer. Got that. You know, it wasn't much of a surprise on why, uh, on who, who the killer could have possibly have been. Ah, crud. It's the exact opposite of what I was hoping for. Generally not the I generally don't have that much difficulty doing this. You can actually block the attack. It's just a bit more difficult uh, because you have to be at a specific angle. Destroying any of these Destroying the other people that aren't the track is kind of pointless. Uh, 
Damn it, I was so close. I really wish we could have uh, talked to him prior, like I, like I initially wanted to. But he, uh, he just disappeared before then because he does actually have some uh, motivations that, well, uh, that kind of makes sense to, uh, I guess, his religious views. He's sort of like Yurt in the fact that he's just a dick and kills people, but he's a little... It, there's a little bit more to it than just that, though. I'll try to get some bonus footage of uh, the conversations with him, so that way, you know, we could we could find his motivations. easier with a secondary person as they generally get distracted but otherwise it's not too difficult it's not any more difficult than what it was before let's open the shortcut I should have done that initially like I said all shortcuts need to well the same place Let's invade one more time. And if we don't succeed this time, then, well, we'll go on to the boss. always to try to bottleneck everyone. Make sure I'm targeting the right person. Let's do it. One less down, and the wall between us. We have taken care of this jerk. And the souvenir of reprisal is the reward we get for killing someone that is considered guilty. And also a firekeeper soul, which is always, always a good thing. Oh crud. Hey, I forgot about that, uh, that silver knight up there. Generally why I always want to try to kill them first, but... Let's do that. Especially with 
20 humanities that we got. I have no problem using a couple. Yeah, you can go and still shoot at me, bro. I'm... You're gonna miss, and you're gonna die. And the reason why I'm going up this way is so I don't, again, get the royal guards and uh, aggressive to me. Oh, looks like uh, we're gonna go and get invaded. Awesome. So, to be honest, I'm not feeling it. In fact, let's just go to the boss door. Don't want to play with these guys anymore. And of course, this is probably considered the hardest boss fight. we have a two-on-one situation. Generally, though, it is considered the best idea to kill Ornstein first on your first time playing through, and Smog second, because in New Game Plus, I believe Smog just really resistant to everything, and you don't want to, uh, deal with that bullshit. It's always a good idea to try to keep uh, a distance between, or a pillar between you and Smog, so whenever he decides to do that charging attack, well, you don't get the uh, fun damage. that. Luckily we have our poise ring on, so that almost did nothing to us. This one is actually all about patience, believe it or not. You'd think this is a war of attrition, but it's more about how much you can fight them on your own terms. Again, make sure there's always that pillar between you and Smog, and you'll never have to deal with his uh, charging attack. Speaking of... Almost was really bad. I don't want to go and attack Smog because it's going to be, going to be completely useless and worthless. Ornstein should be coming, being way more aggressive than he actually is. This is a really bad situation. Being, again, again, these guys can be randomly easy or more than likely obnoxiously hard. The wolf ring's definitely saving me a lot here. I mean, I did stagger, but it was almost uh, nothing. 
again, all things considered. Dude, right. Oh, yes. We got smog glitched. Oh yeah, by the way, Ornstein has ridiculous range. It doesn't seem like he would have that much range, but no, he does. Alright, again, we're not going to be playing with the guards. Let's go straight to the action. Out of the two to kill the first time around, Ornstein's the hardest, uh, but his second form is the easiest, while Ornstein's... or uh, I mean, Ornstein is. Uh, and then Smo's... Smo's is the hardest on uh, the second form and the easiest on Some enemies can hurt each other, and others... Well, you're just kind of screwed. Alright, Ornstein, come on, bro. No, not the lightning spear. Don't do that. Yeah. Yep, and this is where the legendary bullshit happens. Most people generally agree, this fight isn't hard because it's hard, it's hard because it's unfair. Now I've just gotten completely, not so much desperate as uh, opportunistic take any chance I can to actually deal damage to this bastard. I don't know if this has been my general experience is Ornstein does the charge, the dash charge thing more often. Oh yeah, by the way. Yeah, I like how he gets completely like stuck behind some things, but it's still considered that one charge. Doing this is going to be a very slow and meticulous fight, as you probably well know by now, but one small mistake, 
And here goes most of your health bar. Not all. And again, he's just sticking with Smo. Oh, and there's that glitchy dash attack. second sense for when he's gonna go and hit me with his hammer, or at least try to. Two more attacks should do it, and we're going to go into the second phase of the fight, and hopefully we won't suck at it. There we go, second phase. Super Smo. Let's do it. Prior, before the, uh, I guess, patch, or one of the patches, I swear killing uh, Ornstein first netted his ring, because that's how I almost always did it. I guess it's the other way around, you have to kill Bornstein the last in order to nab his Leo ring. Which is a shame. Personally, I'm, I'm more for, uh, you know, this way, it, especially if you have, to, in order to 100% the game, you need, uh, you know, you need to do New Game Plus and you need both their souls. And this is me being super cocky. Don't do this. And we see somebody else in the ether of uh, time and space fighting. I'm gonna go and guarantee you they're doing. They're fighting Smo right now. It's gonna do the charge thing. Really glad, but surprised that that did not hit us. Again, always a good idea to keep one of these pillars as your friend. Strangely enough, he's not doing the charge attack. 
Again, never complaining on that. Somebody killed the bonfire. We just got another Estus. Every time he jumps back, I think he's gonna do the charge because that charge is the worst thing. That, which is also one of the worst things. That's something that they actually share uh, between their super forms. Oh crap. Might as well get our drink on. There it is. There we go. And he's dead. I miss having the Leo ring. And a single humanity out of that. Thank you, jerks. Look, we got, uh, well, almost three statues. One of Gwen, and, well, one of another person that we're just going to go and find right now. But first, we want to go in over here, and... the leggings of favor and the whole favor set from the track. Which is a really decent set. Uh, it's not one of my more favorite ones. One of my more favorite ones is further in into a terrible, terrible place. Might as well rest up here. And continue on. Thou hast journeyed far, and overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. And, well, might as well. I'm actually quite shocked that that's not what, a, what I thought it was. This one will probably be. Man, you guys suck. Uh, it's just, generally, it's always glorious chest ahead. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed in obscurity, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. And there's also one other thing we could do for her. Thou hast journeyed far. The Princess Guard is pretty useless, so no, we're not going to go and enter that. Well, let's go and see if we can hear something else from her. Mm 
Since the day Father has wounded Obscurus, I have awaited thee, once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art. O chosen undead, and beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world, a grave and arduous test of metal, yea, it shall be. Indeed, we had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustaineth. Without fire, all shall be a frigid and frightful dark. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen and dead. May thou be one with the sun out forevermore. There's a couple of things that I'll need to find in the lore to show you guys a little something interesting about her. Well, there's a cu there's more than one thing that's interesting about her, to be fair. But that'll be for a later date. I want to thank you all again for joining me here on Dark Souls, and we'll see you all for the next update.